Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making steaks on a George Foreman tabletop grill. Okay, I'm starting out showing you my George Foreman grill. This is a grill and a broiler. My wife Holly got it for me from QVC. It was just under $100 by a few cents. I got the blue color. And it has a ceramic griddle plate top and low. I have it preheating right now. It has a standard drain pan that goes underneath that drains the fat away from your food. And I like that it's um, ceramic so it's easy to clean because sometimes George Foreman grills can be a pain. It also comes with a saute pan that you can snap in. The, the pans and plates snap in and out. Push the button. It came with two waffle plates. Let me get this back in here. And these here are just non-stick. They're not the uh, ceramic. So let me get this warmed up guys and uh, the preheat light will go on when it's warmed up and we'll go ahead and get some steaks on here and see how this works. Alright I have my grill all warmed up. I have it preheated to 400 degrees. The preheat lights on. Now, a little bit of smoke came out of this while I was warming up. I assume that's just some dust on the heating element so I'm not going to think too much of it. I have some I have round steaks here that I drizzled olive oil on and seasoned with salt and pepper. I'm going to get them on here and give them about 8 to 10 minutes and they're going to grill from the top and the bottom at the same time. And I'm probably going to do about 3 steaks at a time, that's about what I'm going to be able to put on here. So I'm going to close my lid down and give this 8 minutes. Okay, now that my steaks are all grilled, I'm going to set them aside here and tend them a foil to rest. And I'm going to turn off the foreman grill for a second because I'm going to change plates here on the bottom. There's a power switch on the side here. Let me find it. Okay. Now there's a button here you push. That stays cool. I'm going to lift this plate off and set it somewhere safe where it can take the heat. Okay, now I have a sauteing plate here I'm going to put. I'm just going to wipe this excess grease off guys. Go ahead and snap this plate down in. I'm going to close the grill up. I'm going to leave the grill plate on top because I'm just going to saute some vegetables in here. That can stay on there. I'm going to turn this up to 425. Turn my power on and preheat this up to 425. It shouldn't take long because it was at 400 for the steaks. Okay now that my grill is warmed up with that saute pan in there I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in here. And I still have this set of, set of slant. There's a little hinge in the back that slants it. I have some asparagus here. I threw in the microwave in a little water, wrapped it in some plastic, and just gave it like a, fra a flash steaming just to get a head start for like a minute or two. I'm going to lay this in here on the sauteing pan. And I'm going to go ahead and saute this asparagus until it's soft or tender. My tongs keep going to fall apart. I mean. And I'm going to add a little bit of garlic salt to this while this sautés. So this should only take a few minutes, guys. Alright, my asparagus is done. I went in there every so often and I stirred it around. And that literally only took about 5 minutes, guys. Now, if you were to cook this from raw, it'd probably take about 8 to 10 minutes. But it certainly would get done in a pretty quick time because it gets nice and hot in here. And like I said, these uh, being ceramic plates or pans, they're going to clean up easy, so that won't be a problem. Now I turned off my foreman grill. I'm just going to serve the asparagus right from there. My steaks are done rusting. Uh, let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. I also went ahead and made some red skin mashed potatoes to go with the steak and the asparagus. I'm going to get in here and cut into the steak, guys, so we can see how it looks. Now that steak there is well done. If you like yours uh, medium or rare, you would cook it less time. I'm going to take a taste of this, guys. Steak has good flavor. It's nice and tender. Okay, there you have it. Grilled steak on a George Foreman tabletop grill. Give this a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya.